Hi, I'm Aaron from Triton Plumbing and Service. Today we're going to do a quick lesson on plugged bathroom sinks. I'm going to cover some of the tools you can get from your local hardware store and how to use them. Well, this is your standard toilet plunger. I like I like the red rubber. I like the short um, the short plunger. Uh, the reason I like this style of plunger is it's the rubber softer, so I can get a good seal. Because that's in my mind that's the key thing. I want a good seal between the sink and the plunger itself uh, so that I can get suction or when I push it's pushing down. I don't want bubbles coming out from underneath the plunger. If you have bubbles you're not getting a good push. You're not getting all the force going down the drain. So you need that good seal and that's why I prefer the red rubber like this. So uh, on, if this was a slow sink or a complete stoppage the plunger is an acceptable first tool to give a try uh, a try to get the, the blockage cleared. If it's slow sometimes you'll have the water go out so you can always add water. I want to have, like I said, I, like I said earlier, I want to have that seal around the plunger. So I will add water as needed, and then I like to think of the plunging technique. Instead of pushing, I like to get that seal, and then I'll pull before I push. I I like to pull and push, but I like to think of it as a pull more because I I know I'm getting a good seal if I can get a pull back on the drain with water in the drain. This is your standard uh, hand auger. It's human powered, so. Uh, it's good for blockages that are close to uh, the fixture itself. A couple feet down the drain is as far as you really, is, is the effective range that this tool is going to work on. Um, when I'm using it, you want to make sure that you're turning the right direction. You can look and see there's a little swivel on the end. You want it to, you want to swivel into, you want to make sure you're spinning the right way so you're swiveling into whatever object, generally hair is what this is going to be uh, attacking. So you want to swivel into it so you're screwing into the into the hair and then you get a good hook and you, you'll be able to pull it out. So that's the first part. Know which direction you're turning. The second thing is some, there's usually a lock or well, there should be a lock on these to, to make them work properly. This one has a little screw, a set screw that you can tighten and loosen. Some of them have a quick trigger so you can pull the trigger to loosen. So I let off on the trigger. I can pull more cable out. I do up. The, uh, the screw and I can't and now it's solid so this is the way I would install it I would use it when it's solid so I would twist it locked so that it can't move and then I turn it and as I turn now I can spin that auger and I can force it into the drain and then when I want more cable I can let off the screw again pull more cable out as needed and tighten that back up so I can screw that back into the drain and force it down the drain. So that covers the first two techniques for unclogging a drain. If you find your drain issue is more problematic than that, please give us a call here at Triton Plumbing and Service. We'd be happy to help. Look us up on the web at tritonservice.ca.